this video segment will show you how to make a simple urethane mold. The information you will see here is also covered in our product bulletin 7C, which you can get from one of our stores or our website. Urethane is ideal for making a simple block mold like this. Block molds have the advantage that they are quick to make and usually do not require a rigid mother mold like latex does. The first step is to select a smooth, non-porous base such as this acrylic. Then, fasten the part to the base so that it does not float up into the urethane once it is poured. We will use a glue gun for this purpose. The next step is to create a container to hold the poured urethane over the part. As seen in the earlier video, a paper cup works well for this shape. Again, we glue it down making sure there is not even a pinhole through which the liquid urethane could flow. Urethane sticks to most objects, so a mold release is essential. We recommend Paulie's 2300, which is applied by lightly fogging the part. Too much mold release will degrade the quality of the urethane. Since we do not want to mix more material than we need, it is helpful to know the volume of the mold. A simple method is to use rice. Simply fill the mold to a level desired and pour the rice into a measuring container. We could do this with water, but then we would have to wait until the mold completely dried. Rice leaves no contamination behind. Urethane RTV has an A and a B side which are mixed on a one-to-one -one ratio by volume. Side A is a clear, thick, honey-like liquid. There are two things to keep in mind with side A. The first is that side A can permanently bond the lid of the can if you are not careful, as can be seen by attempts to remove this lid. To prevent this problem, as soon as you open the can, apply polys to the groove of the can and to the lip of the lid. This will ensure that you will be able to remove the lid later. Also, if you pour out of the can, remove excess material from the groove as well. The second thing to be aware of is that side A can harden in the can if it is not used soon after opening. If you plan to store a partial can, this problem can be minimized by using polypurge. Polypurge is a dry gas. A short burst into the can just before applying the lid will help preserve the side A for storage. Side B is a thin brown liquid and must be stirred before using. One of the advantages of urethane over silicone is that it has an easy one-to-one -one mix ratio. To ensure an accurate mix ratio, we recommend pouring equal amounts of side A and side B into two different cups. Then combine the contents into a third cup. Once combined, thorough mixing is essential. We recommend two minutes of vigorous stirring and scraping the sides of the cup. Once mixed, the urethane can be poured into the mold. Pour it into the corner so that the urethane can sort of squeegee out the air as it covers the part. The goal is not to trap any air bubbles. The bubbles created by stirring will release during the curing process. This trouble-free bubble release makes urethane an easy-to-use molding material. Once poured, wait 24 hours and your mold is ready to use. Urethane is suitable for casting all resins as well as concrete and plaster. It is a very durable mold product. Because mold release is used, parts cast in urethane will have mold release attached to them as well and thus cannot be easily painted. If it is your desire to paint the parts, we recommend you use silicone RTV, which will be described in another video segment. Yeah.